you can now view stocks that meet your condition or conditions for any bar in any time frame on your chart with just one click. Let me show you how. I have a stochastics indicator on my S&P 500 chart and I'm in a daily time frame. I want to find stocks in the high cap 1000 that are considered overbought today. That's a stochastics value above 80. Let's create the condition from this indicator on our chart. Click on the stochastics label in the indicator pane, select create condition from the menu, and since the default condition in the edit window is already set to greater than, we just need to set the value to 80. Now click scan. This opens a new window set to the high cap 1000. The stocks in this scan window have a stochastics value of over 80 today. You can see that on each chart as we spacebar through the scan results watch list. Now, let's say that I'd like to see the stocks that met this stochastics criteria at specific dates on the SPX chart that may reflect different market conditions. To see the results for a chosen date, I need to change the refresh rate in my scan window. It defaults to manual, so I click there on the menu button and then choose Select Date on Chart from the dropdown. Notice the filter icon and dashed line that appear on the chart. I can simply slide this tool to choose any date on the chart and immediately find the stocks that meet my conditions for that date. Let's look at a couple of examples. First, there's this area in early April where the S&P first started showing an overbought stochastics. I can drag the filter to that date. And in our results watch list, you now see the individual stocks that were showing stochastics greater than 80 at that point. Spacebar through the list and you can see that stochastics condition on each chart. Let's drag the filter back to this area in mid-March where the S&P index itself was showing a stochastics value of less than 20 typically thought of as oversold. Now the stocks in the results watch list are the stocks that had a stochastics value of greater than 80 when the S&P had a stochastics value of less than 20. Spacebar through these results and you see how these specific stocks were actually operating contrary to the market pullback. And that's it. Scan for date allows me to see the stocks meeting my scan conditions for any date on my chart.